today, uh -huh. amen. Don't uh -huh. have your own uh, agenda, amen. You got to be fighting That's for right. the Lord. Amen. 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 Take God be the glory. Amen. Get on the right. battlefield. Once you get on the battlefield, you need to stay on the battlefield. Amen. amen. And uh, keep fighting. Amen. Keep fighting. Amen. Keep fighting. amen. You know, did nobody tell you to stop, but you need to keep fighting, amen. Keep amen. going ahead, amen. Once you put your hands to the plow, don't turn back. Don't turn loose. Amen. Keep going forward, amen. There's no need to look back. There's, there's no need to go back. But once you put your hands on there, just go forward, amen. Keep going forward, amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Don't you have your Bibles this morning? We're going to look at 1 Peter chapter 2. In verse 9, amen. And while I do stand, I want to give honor to all who mama do. I just thank God, amen, for another day. And I thank you for Facebook family for tuning in, for True Web family for being here, amen. And uh, amen. it's already been stated that last week was the 10th anniversary. So this Sunday, we're starting on. Number 11. Amen, amen, so to amen. God, be the glory. to God be the glory. Amen. There's nothing that I have done. There's nothing under my sleeve. I don't have a hat on, so it's nothing under my hat, but it's all by the, by the grace of God. Amen. Amen, amen. God who keeps us, who sustains us, and gives us what we need, the grace and the mercy on oh, his goodness. Amen. And every day hasn't been cake and pie That's doing right. those 10. Amen. But amen. God has been right with us every step yes, of the way. Amen. 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 And I just give his name the praise and the glory. Mm -hmm. You know, even 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 when we did, we couldn't get the ends to meet, God was still in the midst. Yes, he was. Amen. So I, I, I want you to understand one thing about God. You, you know, your bills are paid. You got money in the bank. Everybody's got good health. We say, oh, hallelujah. Thank you, God. But when it's not like that, you still need to praise him and say, thank you, God. You, know, you, can't, you can't pick and choose when you praise him. He don't pick and choose when he bless you. Amen. So I, I'm telling you, uh, when, when you're up praising, when you're going right, through right. praising, amen. Amen. I mean, you know, you, 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 well, I'm going to praise him on Sunday. I don't know about them other six days, but I tell him thank you. Well, you got to tell him thank you every day. Amen. Right. Every That's time right. if you're able to roll That's out of the bed right. and your foot That's hits right. the floor, God, I thank you. That's if you can right. feel That's the floor right. on your amen. foot, to amen. God be the glory. Amen. amen. If you're able to put your eyes on it, you can see to amen. God be the glory. Amen. 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 You just can't pick and choose this thing. Who you go? Well, I'm gonna serve him today. You know, because Bible declares I'll pick you this day. Who you gonna serve? That's right. And, he, and he, when, when you serve him, you got to serve him every day. You got to serve him when your head is hurting. You got to serve him when your back is hurting. You got to serve him when you, when you when your A1C ain't what he wanted. You got to serve him when you, when, you, when, you, when the doctor says, well, "Well, you got cancer. We found cancer." And you know, you still got to give his name the praise and the glory. Amen. Because that's when he works. He's working all the time, but when you got did you call him this morning? That's right. You might have called Big Mom. You might have called Nay Nay, amen. You might have called Uncle Jake, amen. But did you call on the name of the Lord this morning? But just call on him, amen. And he'll be right there, amen. Now I had somebody call me the other day. I didn't know who it was, but they revealed who they was. I'm saying you I don't, I don't always answer, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But when you call on the Lord, amen, that's right. he'll respond. He will, yes. He'll say, well, who is this calling me? I don't know that's these right. people. That's right. Hey, but, but if he know you, he's going to check on you. Yes, he will. Okay. But like I say, don't, don't, don't wait till you broke, busted, and disgusted. I think I need Jesus now. Mm -hmm. And then when you get back on your feet, you, yeah. you turn away from him. No, you oh, need him all the time. All the time. All the time. You know, not... You know, not not just when it's convenient for you. Uh -huh. Well, I think now I think it's a good time. Well, it should have been a good time a long time ago That's to right. call on him. Amen. Uh -huh. Who who you who you fighting for? Amen. Uh -huh. I, well, I'm fighting for these over here. I'm fighting for these. You be fighting for the Lord. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. First Peter chapter two and verse nine. Amen. And God is truly good. He is. Mm -hmm. If you really think about it, hey, we still here. That's right. And people still are talking about this pandemic. And, mm -hmm. and, you, and you, you still here. Still here. 
you know, yeah, you good. got activities of your limbs, mm -hmm. amen, breath in your body, mm -hmm. and you above ground, yes, you have yes. a right to That's praise right. the Lord. Right. I, 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 I guess I'm stuck yeah. right there, yeah. you know, to tell him thank you, thank amen. You, well, I already told him thank you. We can thank him more than one time. That's right. You know, when somebody do something for you, amen, you tell them thank you. That's right. But when you yeah. say thank you, you mean it. Right. But now, this time, I want you to tell the Lord, thank you. Thank and you, me. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Now, you can tell him thank you for the stuff that did you didn't even see yeah. yet. To God be the glory. But hey, I'm going to praise him on credit. Amen. I ain't got it yet, but I can praise him on the credit. Amen. I can praise him for the business that's coming. Amen. All my bills are paid off. God, I praise you right now. Amen. If I have to go to the doctor, I know I'm going to get a good report. I got to praise him in advance. Amen. 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 You, you, you got to speak that thing now. Amen. It, it is well. It is well. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Let me, let me go on in now. Get started, amen. But first Peter chapter two and verse nine, and it and it reads, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praise of him who have called you out of the darkness into the marvelous light. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, Lord, thank you. Again, for this day, thank you for all your many blessings. Dear Lord God, thank you for opening doors. Mm -hmm. When the doors were closed, dear Lord God, thank you. Thank you how you kept us and watched over us. Dear Lord God, thank you for the ones that's watching on Facebook this morning, dear Lord God. Thank you for them. And thank you, Lord God, for the ones that's here at the church, dear Lord God. Thank you. Father God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in thy sight. Oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So you got to have something to talk about. Before you watch Boston play today, we're going to talk about we should make a difference. Why? We are a chosen people. You've been chosen. You've been chosen. The other day I was watching the draft and guys getting drafted and hugging and kissing and thanking mama and thanking daddy and thanking coaches. And a few of them had thanked God, but you chose it. You are chosen. Mm -hmm. Let me let me let me break it down for you. In the New King James version says you are special people. Mm -hmm. King James says you peculiar. Mm -hmm. The NIV says people belonging to God. Mm -hmm. The the American Standard version says people for God's possession. Mm -hmm. You special. Mm -hmm. You special. You, a, a, that's different. That means. You don't hang at the same places. Amen. You don't do the same thing. Yeah, you don't talk like other people talk. Uh -huh. you, you, you just different. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, some, some, I heard the other day some people use the word they, they just different. They just, they, they, they just curious. They don't hang around everybody. I said, well, they don't do it. That makes you different. So you don't, you don't, you're not going around talking to, telling gossip, mm -hmm. running people down, uh -huh. uh, uh Telling all your business, putting it on faith because you're different. Uh -huh. There's nothing wrong with being different. That's right. That's right. Ain't nothing wrong with being different. You ain't got to blend in to every group, that's every right. party. Oh, that's you, you, don't, you don't have to fit in with them. That's right. You know, you don't have to fit in. You're, well, I'm just trying to fit in. You, but maybe you ain't supposed to fit in. That's right. That's Find right. Find your own group. That's right. Amen. But our entire walk is to be different. Ephesians 5 and 8 says, For ye will sometimes darkness, but you are now in the light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. Mm -hmm. So walk as the light. Walk as somebody saved. Mm -hmm. Amen. You, you, you the light, you need to be the light. That's right. And don't let nobody cut your light off. Mm -hmm. You a 100 watt bulb, don't try to be no 40 watt bulb. Amen. You got to be you, amen. That's right. That's right. With this understanding, we realize that there are certain marks on the children of God that show distinction by God. We should make a difference. We should make a difference. Mm -hmm. Your light need to be shined. Mm -hmm. You you just different. You know, you, you, you curious. You know, you just set apart, amen. 
We should be different from the world. And we're going to look at some scripture that says that we're different. Don't take my word for it, amen. But wait, but what makes us different from others? What makes you different? Is it, it ain't who your mom and daddy is. It ain't based on your education, your good looks, or lack of good looks. It's not depending on how good you scored on the SAT. It don't depend on where you go to college or where you graduated from or what kind of job you hold now. That makes you different. Mm -hmm. There are those that are obedient and faithful. And there are those that are not. Mm -hmm. That makes you different. Mm -hmm. When you're obedient to God, when you're faithful to God. A lot of people can't be faithful for nothing. They can't be, they, they can't follow the rules. What's, if they, somebody tell you what the rules are, they say, well, I'm going to do it my way. If, you, if you, you can't be faithful to this one or that one, I'm going to do it my way. But in Mark 16 and 16 says, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. So either you're going to believe it or you're not going to believe it. Obedience to his will is the active part of our faith. You got to obey do what the words say. Mm -hmm. Well, 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 well I, I like that part. I don't want to do this part right here. But you got to follow all. If you want to follow, you got to follow right. all of them. Amen. That's right. But, but that don't apply to me. That's for them. Mm -hmm. All of it apply to you. Amen. Amen. But what makes us different from others? What makes us different? There are those who do the will of the Father in heaven. And those who do not. You got to do his will. Know, know his will. That's right. And know then do the will. And do it. That's right. You know, you know hear us and do it. Unless you talk about hearing it. But you got to do it. Amen. But everybody wants to point out what they, everybody, what they, what everybody else needs to be doing. But you need to be doing this over here. Mm -hmm. You know. But it goes for you too. No, they want to talk to you. They're talking to you. Mm -hmm. When you hear it, you got to do it. It's just like uh, instructions when you're putting something together. And the instructor said, you gotta, you gotta put A with B that's right. or D on, with E. Right. You put it together, and then you gotta take this one, this screw and this bolt goes together and, and connects them together. Well, if you don't do that, guess what? It's not gonna connect. That's right. So so what the word does is gonna connect us with Jesus. Amen. That's what the word is gonna connect you with Jesus. Amen. Well, do I do I have to do? Well, you gotta pick it up and read it sometime. Mm -hmm. You can pick it up and read it all the time if you can. Mm -hmm. But you need to follow. Oh. If we want to follow everybody, you know, we want to follow a lot of people that's got a lot of people on Facebook. We want to follow them. We, gonna, we want to follow what's trending. We're going to follow what's hot. We're going to follow what's popular. But you need to be following Jesus. That's right. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? I'm, I want to follow this because we want to be in the in crowd. Mm -hmm. we, we want to be in the number. Well, the best number to be in is in the Jesus number. Amen. Amen. Uh, 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 are you saved or are you not? Do you, do you know him or you don't? Uh -huh. uh, what, what do you want to be? We know the will of the Father through his revealed word. I just said, you, you got to read it. It's in the word. Mm -hmm. and, and guess what? He, don't, he ain't going to hide nothing from it. That's right. That's right. Since God has revealed his, his will to us, anything that is in scripture, anything that is scripture, and it's not his will, and therefore it cannot be added. You can't add it. If it's in there, it's in there. But you can't put it in there. You know, pe people say, read the fine print. Mm -hmm. You don't sign the contract and say, well, you didn't read the fine print. That's right. Well, there's nothing hidden in the word. That's right. If you take the time to read it, if you, if you take time to say, answer, well, what does this mean? How does this apply for my life? What does this mean for me? Mm -hmm. well, when I get right here, what do I need to do? You know, it'll be revealed to you. Did you, did you pray on and ask God to, to show you what you need to be doing? If you, if, you, if you don't understand it, you need to find somebody, hey, help, help me get some understanding of this right here. I, I don't understand. 1 Corinthians 2, 10 and 11 says, But God hath revealed them unto us, the Spirit for the Spirit, searching all things, then the deep things of God, for what man knoweth, so what man knoweth the things of. A man save the spirit of a man which is in him, even so the things of God know of no, but the Spirit of God. So what, what are you saying? If you really want to know God, you search the scriptures. Mm -hmm. You read the Bible. You pray. Well, preacher, you say it all the time. Well, all you doing is yet. 
That's, that's, that's nothing hit. He's not going to hide anything from you. That's right. He's not going to hold anything from you. That's so right. what you have to do, you have to search search it out for mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to read that thing. Pray, right. pray about it. God, give me understanding. Give me, give me some wisdom about this uh -huh. thing. Uh, uh, give me, give me rest on this thing. Hey, man. Uh, uh, help me, help me, help me. And God, and He'll do it. Yes, Amen. Now, when you up there praying, and well, I didn't get no answer. That don't mean yeah. That's right. That's right. Come on, you know, or, or you just wait on God to That's respond. Because right. right. you don't want to get ahead of God. You want God to lead you. In Proverbs 8 and 7, he says, I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Well, are you seeking him? Are you looking for him? Are you trying to find him? Well, well Jesus ain't lost. He ain't, but he wants you to find him. He, he wants you to be a God chaser. Seek after him. You know, we, we seek out the fame and fortune. We want to name up in lights. Or we, we want to have a, we got a nice car, we got a nice house, but we want to get a bigger car and a bigger house. And and, and, and and we want to get a better job, making more money so we can get a bigger house and a bigger car. And then we want everybody to see how nice we look. But are you seeking the Lord? Are you seeking him? Well, since no do my answer, the answer must be yes. Seek him. Matthew 6 and 33 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. What we need to be doing, we must first seek God. Yes, amen. If he's not numero uno on your list, then you got your list out of order. Amen. He needs to be at the very top That's right. of your list. If you have one, if you don't have one, you can start one today. And then who you need to be seeking first? Is God in the kingdom. Seek him. You know, well, I won't be successful. And I'm looking for the perfect man. I'm looking for the perfect woman. I'm looking for this. I'm, but, that, but when you seek him first, That's all right. these other things That's will be right. added That's unto you. Right. So That's what's right. all the other things? After you seek him, these things will be added unto you. That's right. You fill in the blank. I ain't going to tell you what the blank is. You fill it in. But number one needs to be God. Mm -hmm. You need to be seeking him. Mm -hmm. But what makes us different from others? <laughs> what makes us different? Mm -hmm. is, it, is, it, is, is it your pretty hair? Hey, man, if I had some pretty mm -hmm. hair. Is it the new glasses that you got on? Or is those new pair of shoes that you got? Oh, oh, what makes you different? Mm -hmm. Hey, man. There are those who demonstrate their love for Christ by keeping the commandments. We know that. We know these people. Mm -hmm. But Matthew 19, 17 says, and, he's, and he said unto them, Who callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Mm -hmm. you know, honor thy mother and father. Uh, keep God, number one. Don't, don't murder. Don't steal. Don't covet one's wife. These are some of the commandments, amen. Mm -hmm. But if you're not going to keep them, then you're not going to honor God. Mm -hmm. how, can you, how can you say, I'm going to keep the commandments and don't honor God? If you honor God, then you're going to keep them. Mm -hmm. You can't have one or the other. It's, right. it's not either or. It's not like, do you want vanilla or chocolate? Mm -hmm. It's not either or. It's like, uh -huh. I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to yeah. do this. I'm going to love the Lord and I'm going to keep right. these That's commandments. Right. That's right. It's, it's, it's very simple. But I don't, I don't want to do it on Sunday. I do it some other time. Yeah. Amen. And there are those who profess to love Christ, but do not keep his commandments. Mm -hmm. Those that love Christ know his commandments, and it's not a burden. Oh, God, we got to do this. Oh, God, we got to do that. See, if it's like that, then it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. But Matthew eleven thirty 30 says, for my yoke is easy, mm -hmm. and my burden mm -hmm. is light. Yeah. He's not going to put any more on you than you can bear. That's right. That's what, that's what we hear all the time. Mm -hmm. you know? But a lot of times we put more on us than we need to put on us. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, I, I can do that and this. That's right. And then you walking around complaining because it's too much on you, but God didn't put it on you. Mm -hmm. Well, who put it on you? You put it on yourself. For my yoke is easy mm -hmm. and my burden light. Let me move on. Ephesians 12, 13 and 14 says, Let's hear the conclusion of the whole matter. 
Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty. All man got to do is keep the commandments. That's all you got to do. Amen, amen. But you don't want to do that. For God shall bring every work unto judgment and every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it is evil. So everything that you're doing in the dark, everything that you slip sliding and trying to do, everything you're trying to do undercover, Everything you trying to do low key. If you gotta borrow somebody else's car to be sneaky, hey, amen. Okay. God sees it. Amen. That's right, that's well, right. He's well, Pastor, let me borrow your car. Your windows is tinted. Ain't nobody gonna they gonna think it's you. Well, you ain't gonna mess me up. That's right. Come on, Because I'm gonna tell you, it's always somebody watching. That's right, that's right. They always watching. They might not, you might not think they looking, but they watch. Right. Well, right. what's the difference? You go out here and do something and see if somebody don't come back and tell you what you did, mm -hmm. amen. But whether it be evil, good or evil, it's going to be revealed. It always comes out. You know, you hear grandma say all the time, no, what, what's done in the dark comes to light. What you trying to hide is going to come out eventually. That's right. That's it's right. coming out. You right. can't get by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I thought I was getting by. Uh -huh. No, you didn't uh -huh. get by. Because they caught you. Amen. That's right. Everybody's got a cell phone. Everybody got a cell phone with a camera. And every time you look around, somebody got a camera somewhere. Mm -hmm. Amen. If one does not reverence God or Christ, that he will not keep those commandments. If you're not going to reverence God, then you're not going to honor those commandments. It's, 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 just, it's just plain. Amen. It implies that God can be sought and God can be made known to us. He, he, he's, not, he's not hiding. Mm -hmm. But you got but you got to know where to look. You know, sometimes people be like, did you see so-and-so? No, I didn't see it. And I'd be like, well, I couldn't see it because it was on the tip of my nose. But God is not hiding. He's not, he's not Hidden. You, you, you don't have to go on a treasure hunt to go find it. That's right. That's if you right. want him, you can find it. But if you don't want him, yeah, he's going to be hidden from you because you ain't trying to find him. You know, like hide and seek. The kids go 5, 10, 15, 20, you know, he counting, counting. Ready or not, here I come. And everybody's hiding. But on this commercial, it was somebody hiding behind some weeds. Some things is right in plain sight. Right. But if you don't want it, you're not going to get it. You know, you, say, you, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Well, you can you, you can see that you need Jesus. Uh -huh. you, you can see you need to, God needs to make a difference in your life, yes. but you will not call on him. Amen. He's not going to force his That's will right. on you. Yes. You might know the will, but he ain't going to force the will on you. He ain't going to force himself on you. That's right. Amen. Let me take a little bit on. Romans 1 and 20 says, For the invisible things of God are uh, from creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power uh, and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. It's not here. You, 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 you can apply for you. And, you know, sometimes people uh, try to apply for a, a bank card, a credit card, or something, and you get denied. Your credit score ain't bad, or you never did pay him to start with. But with Jesus, he's not going to deny you. He's not going to turn away from you. Ain't you, ain't you glad about yeah. this morning? You might not have that 800 credits, but you can have Jesus in your life. Amen. But let, 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 let's move on. Amen. But we are the salt of the earth. That's what makes us different. That's what makes us different. Matthew 5, uh, 5 and 13 and 8, Paul, that ye are the salt of the earth. Now, Christians are to be have their preserving power. That's what salt do. Salt will preserve. Amen. You know, uh, some people say they can't, they runs it runs the pressure up, got too much salt. But I, when you serve him with Jesus, Jesus ain't gonna, gonna let you get out of hand, amen. Mm -hmm. But salt always creates thirst, Matthew 5 and 6. Blessed are those which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, so they shall be filled. If you're seeking the things of God, if you have that desire, if you hunger, if you want him, hey, amen, you can be filled. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, but you ever can, can just get up from the table, eat, and say, well, I still want something else. You had not been fulfilled. You know, so then you might say, well, I'm going to try this cake, and it don't do it. Well, I'm going to try this, and see, really, it, the, the, the taste, you, you fool, 
but you but you're not fooled with the right things, or you haven't had the right thing. Well, I just got a taste for this right here, but it's not here. So then you have to go and get something else, amen. But when you hunger and thirst after righteousness, you shall be filled. It ain't going to be like, well, I'm still missing that's something. That's right, that's right. You, you hear people say all the time, well, I'm missing something in my life, and I don't know what it is. I've tried drugs, I've tried alcohol, i tried this woman, i tried this man. I, I, I had a best paying job in the world, and, I, and I, I'm still not satisfied. Because, see, that place that's, that's lacking, that's hungry, is hunger after God. That's right. And only on, an man. urge for God can satisfy that's their right. hunger. That's what are you saying? What are you saying? That money can't do it, amen. That's a, right. a, a, that's a good high right. can't do it, amen. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. You yeah. might have a good man or a good woman, uh -huh. but you're still going to be hunger after the things that's of right. God. That's it's right. only some things. They, they can be satisfied. He's going to be satisfied with God. Amen. Well, I, well, I'm still looking for it. Some people take their whole life searching for it. You know, when they get high the first time, they're still looking to get to that first high. Mm -hmm. But they're, they're always chasing that same high. And you know, you, you, you want to get there. You want to get there. You, but, it, but it ain't going to be like it was the first time. Amen. But when you try Jesus, try, try. when you taste him, oh, taste and see. That the Lord is good, amen. I didn't say bitter. I didn't, I didn't say sour. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. You got, he is good, amen. He is good, amen. He shall be filled, amen. That's right, that's right, amen. You can go all over this whole world trying to find stuff, and you still can't find. You can go out here and, and build a mansion, amen, but you're still going to be empty because you didn't put the presence of the Lord in your house, amen. 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 You still, you still lacking, amen. Well, I've got everything. you got the biggest yacht, the biggest car, this, that, and the uh -huh. other, but you still lacking, uh -huh. amen. But that must make a Christian difference. It's a difference in a Christian, amen, because they, if they don't have a two nickels or two dimes or two pennies, they know they got Jesus. That's right, amen. They satisfied. They can right. still right. praise him. Right. The Lord, I got the biggest boat you can yeah. ever have, amen. But you can't praise God, amen. Because uh -huh. you're not thankful, amen. Mm -hmm. But what happens when salt will lose its effectiveness in, in, pres in excuse me, preservation? We do not make a difference anymore. So once it loses that, that salt in this too, you know, sometimes salt gets wet and then it's no good. You, you, it's no good. But I always want y'all to be thirsty. Thirsty after the things of God. Seek him. Seek him. Seek him in the morning. Seek him in the evening. Yeah. Just seek the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Matthew 5, 13 B said, it is good for nothing to be cast out. See, once it, once it gets wet and, it, you know, you try to open up a pack of salt, but well, this pack is damp. Well, it ain't no good because it's all, it's all gummed up and sticking together. Mm -hmm. And it ain't no good. Just throw it away. Mm -hmm. We are the lights of the world. Let your light shine before men. I might have said this one time, but I'm telling you again. Don't, don't dim your light. You know, you, you have to be riding around with somebody at night and they got the high bright lights on. You had to dim your lights and they have dim theirs. But I'm telling you, in the world, don't cut your light down. Let your light shine. Mm -hmm. When you when, when you somewhere, let, let let people know who you are. Hey, I'm a child of the King. I mean, I, I I'm serving Jesus. I'm a believer. I'm a Christian. Amen. Let people know. But you know what? You ain't got to say a thing because they don't know. Mm, amen. They don't know. Well, there's something different about you. But I get, can't put my finger on it. But I know you different. Hey, let me move on. The basic work of lights is to take away dog. Because that's when men come together when it's dog. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't wait for it to get dog. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, one of my favorite groups of all time, they say the freaks come out at night. Mm -hmm. The crazy ones come out at night. The worst stuff in the world happens in the dog. Uh -huh. Because people don't, you don't want to see when that they ain't going to come out in the, in, in the daytime. Mm -hmm. But they're going to do that dirt in the dog. That's right, that's right. They're going to do that dirt in the dog. Ain't that's nobody right. going to see me because it's dog. Well, if I'm looking at you in this dog, and I know you're doing yeah. something, amen. But let me move on. But many times we stand alone, mm. being a Christian. But, but what makes you different? You standing alone. Mm. Paul was in jail, standing alone, amen. Mm. Christ in the Garden of Gethsemane and on the cross, 
he was alone. You sometimes, sometimes you got to go by yourself, and you can't you can't invite somebody to come with you. Even even Joseph, when he was with Miss Potiphar's wife, Miss Potiphar wanted wanted to lay with him, and he just said no, 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 no. And so then one time they got they was in the presence of each other. She just took everybody out of the house. Y'all y'all gone. Y'all go out for the day. Y'all go play golf. Y'all go fishing. Y'all just get out of this house. Now paraphrase it just a little bit. And the dad was the only ones in the house. And doggone Miss Potiphar then, then ripped the boy's coat off. And then ripped his garments off. Amen. But when the, when the story came out, she was saying that he put himself on her. But it was really, she was doing it to him. Amen. That's why I say he's alone. Amen. Let, let me move on. It is important to understand is that through all around me, Everything around me forsakes me, mm -hmm. but God will not leave me. That's when right. you got trouble on every hand, That's amen. Right. When, things, when things coming up against you, yeah. amen. When the when the when when the flood waters arise, amen. When the fire get too hot, amen. Yes. God will not leave you. He will not leave you, amen. You, you understand what I'm saying? Amen. When everybody's against you, amen. Yes. You still got God on your side, amen. Right. amen. Everybody talking about you, running yes. you down, putting putting your business out there, lying on you, amen. making up stuff on you, amen. amen. God is still right there to bring you through. Yes, he is. Amen. Being different is what gets us through the hard times. Uh -huh. You know, because some people say, well, I don't know how you how you made it in 10 years. Mm -hmm. And I stretch my head and say, well, I know it was God. That's right. That's right. Because the average person moved a fold mm -hmm. a long time ago. They're going to, yeah. what you mean by fold? You go back playing cards mm -hmm. and you say, I fold. Mm -hmm. That means I can't win. But when the odds are against you, Christ is in your face. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. When the odds are against you. Yes. All we have here is a little remnant, amen. Amen. That's what, that's what they say, just a little remnant. But that, you don't need a whole lot. Amen. You just need some real folk that yes. believe God amen. and trust the Lord, amen. amen. That's that you got to trust yes. him. You trust God, amen. Hallelujah. Well, if you trust him last year, you know he's going to be even better this year, that's amen. Right. That's right. Let, let, let me wrap this up, amen. amen. Being different, just for the sake of being different, is not what is under consideration. So don't be different just to be different. There's a reason why you're different. Let me tell you why. It is being worthy to be called a child of God that makes us different and set us apart from the, the children of the world. Mm -hmm. Do you make a difference? Mm -hmm. Do you make a difference? Well, I, I just get along to get along. Mm -hmm. You know, but the stuff I named off, you, you the light, you the salt, mm -hmm. you got to obey, you got to follow, you, you got to get, you got to search him, search, search him where, and you, and you bow. Mm -hmm. Well, well I, I, you don't have a Bible, guess what, they got these apps now on everybody's phone, mm -hmm. some kind of app. Mm -hmm. Now, I read King James, that's just, that just the way I am, but if you say, well, it's a little too rough for me, preacher, but then you have to find you another translation, amen. Yeah. Hey, man, you know, but see, I want you to, I want you to get to, but I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Amen. Well, first thing, you got to be saved. See, the, the, the common man is not going to understand the things of God. That's right. Come on. They're not going to yeah. grasp the things of God. Yeah. They're not, they, they're not, well, I, well, I ain't get it. Well, well, you must not be saved, but if you say, pray first. God, give me the understanding. Give me knowledge. Give me things that I need so I can understand your word. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Things are starting to click. Boom. Mm -hmm. Boom. Boom, boom. It might not make sense to you, but if you do it and follow it, it's gonna work out for you. Amen. But you but like here we go again, you gotta trust him. That's right, that's right. You gotta trust him. Because mm -hmm. if, if he says you can do it, he done put it in. That's right. That's well, you know, you don't you don't have to call him and, and ask nobody's opinion. You, you don't have to put no questionnaire on Facebook. Do y'all think I can do this or not? Well, they're gonna tell you no, you can't. Because they want to do it. But when you start doing it, that's right. that makes a difference, amen. That's right, that's right. We should make a difference. Why? Because we are chosen people. I, I'm, I'm done. Thank you, Facebook, for tuning in. Thank you, uh, True Word family, amen. We're getting ready to move into our, our communion part. But seek the Lord. You seek everything else. Seek God. You look at everything that's trendy, everything that's popular. Now, I know Jesus might not be popular, 
But hey, you still need to follow him. Amen. You need to seek him. Amen. You know, well, well, I'll wait. What you waiting on? It's another year. We done made it through the first quarter of That's the year. Right. Amen. Right. You need That's to search, right. search out the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm done. Amen. We're going to go into our communion. Amen. And uh, I just thank God for my opportunity to stand before you today.